What is good YouTube? It's your boy Mario B coming at you guys with our week five team builder slash battle for the IBL. This week we take on Grandmaster D-Ray, coach of the San Diego Snugglers. And if you guys are hype, make sure to leave a like down below. And if you guys are new coming from the IBL server or um, maybe uh, D-Ray's channel, make sure to subscribe as I do upload Pokemon content uh, weekly. So. Um, I want to give a big shout out to D-Ray for really being understanding when it comes to scheduling. This week, guys, I did mess up my back pretty bad. It's actually still pretty messed up. So, um, sorry if there was a lack of uh, videos on the channel this week as well. But uh, anyways, big shout out to D-Ray because I, I canceled on him like twice. I told him he could have the game if he wanted to have it, but he was willing to reschedule with me. Um, even though I'm changed my mind like two times but uh yeah big shout out to my opponent d-ray for being understanding but um you guys can see his team down below oh, wait before i mention this uh if you guys didn't catch the last week's battle make sure to go catch that spoilers in three two one we took the dub baby yes sir we got our first win of the season so really happy about that guys um at least we are won't go this season undefeated and i think our record right now is one in three and actually d Ray's record is one in three so um one person is going to come out uh two and three after this and one person is going to go out one and four so we we're really trying to get this dub out here um but like I said, guys, timestamp for the battle will be on screen right about now. And uh, if you guys want to go ahead and skip to the battle, you guys don't want to watch this team builder portion, completely understand. Uh, but anyways, guys, you guys see the team down below. Uh, the six is what I'm expecting him to bring. And then the littler ones are the ones that I don't expect him to come as much. So um, if you guys are wondering why I'm standing in this kind of awkward position, it's just for my back. I have a pillow back here. Um, I have like a like a support right here on my stomach so i'm kind of messed up guys um so hopefully it doesn't play too much of a factor into the game that i'm going to play tomorrow but uh i'll make sure to take a couple uh pain relieving pills so we can be um focused so like i was saying guys the six down below is what i'm expecting him to bring he does have a zero aura a very fast mon that can outspeed pretty much my whole team even dragon pole by one point so um i do expect it to come i do expect it to be uh uh max attack max speed so uh that's a thing he could bring it choice banded life orbed um i don't know against my team i kind of see like a life orb set being all right so maybe he'll want to bring that uh next he does have the g max gengar the trick room the trick house uh big old tongue uh gengar's pretty pretty all right against my team his uh his shadow not shadow his ghost his poison and probably grass coverage can pretty much put in a lot of work against my team i've seen him run destiny bond in the past so maybe he'll want to bring something like that or maybe even um nasty plot so we gotta see uh the um it's not follow it's uh mandy buzzes mandy buzz i fully expect to come because that thing can eat dracos from my dragapult four days it could I'm not sure if it could eat Moonblast for my Primarina, but I'm pretty sure it can. It's very specially bulky, so I do expect it to come. Pikamuku, Pikamuku, um, which I believe he just picked up this week, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, I know he picked up the Band of Buzz this week, but Pikamuku, I'm definitely expecting him to bring. Uh, I do have two solid fire types that are pretty good against this team, so I could see him wanting to bring that just to kind of counter it. Um, right on, which also helps him with something like my Darmanitan. It helps him with Dragapult. It helps him with Durant. So I could definitely see Right on coming as well. And lastly, Slurpuff. I could see him bringing Slurpuff. I really think that d ray is going to think i'm going to bring webs against them so he's going to try to counter my webs with his own webs which completely makes sense so I, I am expecting him to uh bring that slur puff as well the six smaller ones that you guys see down there are um surfetched heatmore scavalier silvali and the celebi so i could see him also bringing something like silvali water instead of uh, the um Instead of the Pikamuku, I could definitely see that. I could see him wanting to bring Surf Edged over something like Slurpuff if he's not really scared of um, if he's not really scared of the oh 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 spoilers spoilers. Uh, I could see him bringing the Surf Edged if he didn't want to bring something like the Slurpuff. But things to keep in mind, guys, his only defoggers are the Silvali and the uh, Mandy Buzzes. So if we get up webs this game, they will be there to stay. So. 
let's go ahead and take a dive into our team starting off the team we got megamind uh the g max or beetle with the c berry this week uh this week um we're running a 212 hp 148 special attack and 148 speed spread with the modest nature uh this ev spread is there just to be a bulky to go ahead and um try to get up webs which you guys are going to see right now the move set the move set is sticky web psychic buzz bug buzz 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 <laughs> bug buzz and energy ball so this thing has enough special attack to two hit ko his picky muku with the energy ball with max uh overgrowth actually because we do get uh, grassy terrain and we get our next move boosted uh we do knock out the right on uh right on in one hit uh bug buzz is good when we are g max we do two hit ko the zero aura so that's something to keep in mind too and like i said sticky webs are not too good against this team but if we can slow down that zero aura if we can slow down that gengar it'll definitely help us put in a lot of work uh this thing can uh its speed stat is actually meant to outspeed a jolly surf etched and it also has enough speed so that under webs we do outspeed a timid gengar so uh that's going to be the orbital set this week very excited hoping it puts in a lot of work next as you guys saw earlier due to my chubby fingers misclicking uh we got my boy scorpio here the drapeon so drapeon's rocking an assault vest this week and it's h uh not hp spread it's spread is going to be 252 hp 20 attack 4 defense 124 speed def with 108 speed so this thing has the same speed tier as that or beetle um it's going to be outspeeding the jolly surf fetched um gengar underwebs as well excuse me um but yeah and its moves are going to be fire fang knockoff poison jab and earthquake so knockoff is there for mons like the gengar this thing is mostly my gengar check this is the only thing i have for gengar actually so this is my main switch into it we are three hit ko'd by um max focus blast which is the strongest thing he can hit us with um yeah and then max ghost will that's phantasm and max sludge will get up his death but if he does hit us with one max sludge and then we live the next max sludge as well and we do two hit ko in return with a knockoff into the earthquake so that's something to keep in mind too fire fang is there for the excavalet if he wants to bring it and yeah that's pretty much our drapeon set no toxic spikes this week but hey warning to all my opponents watching this if you do not have a tox if you do not have a poison type I will bring T spikes against you. So, anyways, moving on to the next one. We got my boy Troy here. My boy Troy is rocking the window berry this week. I know I know it might sound a little weird. Window berry, sorry, I have a speech impediment. I can't say the R right, so forgive me, you know what I'm saying? But uh Troy right here is rocking basically max HP almost max defense and a little bit of speed we're actually speed creeping that right on so if he does bring it maybe we can catch him off guard hit him pretty hard with an earthquake um you know you know me you know me and much that i love my rest sleep talk set man so this thing is rocking rest sleep talk earthquake and heavy slam earthquake like i said hits everything on his team except the mandibuzz pretty much and the picky muku uh, but the heavy slam will hit both of them for about 20 percent so that's pretty good otherwise in that earthquake hits pretty much everything on the team so i'm not really too worried about that but we are rocking that impish nature just to get that defense up uh just a little bit so next we're gonna have my girl daenerys here my girl daenerys is rocking the choice specs this week so this thing hopefully can break through his team if we can get it in right um at the right times this thing is uh rocking max special attack with the modest nature almost max speed i believe the speed is for gengar and a jolly surf edge that is scarf so we can outspeed a scarf jolly surf edge just in case he wants to bring it which also means that we outspeed things like uh scavalet if it's scarfed heat more if it's scarfed slurp puff if it's scarf for any reason stuff like that i mean it's i know it's not most likely to come but hey we have the speed investment so and here's another thing too he might think we're only running enough speed to outspeed a max speed gengar so he might just speed creep that so uh the fact that we have 236 evs in our speed might give us a better chance of outspeeding that zero aura as well so uh this week's set is going to consist of fire plast draco shadow ball and the u-turn once we get rid of that mandy buzzes we can just start launching off dracos pretty freely we can start launching off shadow balls um 
pretty freely so this thing is going to put in a lot of work this game hopefully especially once we get up the webs we're knocking things out like zero aura we're knocking out that gengar we're knocking out pikimuku i think we two hit ko it we're knocking out the right on we're knocking out slurp puff we don't have steel wing on on the on the on the tech this week but shadow ball does do a hefty amount doing about 30 to 40 percent to a max hp slurp puff so i forgot to mention to you guys my mudsdale set right here is actually um here to check zero aura and it actually has enough hp and defense to take one jolly play rough after rocks um we have a 6.3 chance to live it from a belly drum slurp up just in case we need it so next we got my boy hotbox here so my boy hotbox is rocking those heavy duty boots because we do not want to take hazard damage um, if he does get up webs with the slurp puff we want to be able to outspeed it and still be able to get off a clean defog um so i actually kind of ruined it but we're rocking default volts uh defog volt switch thunderbolt overheat we're rocking a kind of bulky set 164 hp max special attack and 92 speed with a timid nature this thing same speed tier as drapion and uh the orbital it's meant to outspeed a jolly surfetched along with gengar after webs so this thing i'm just expecting to volt switch around uh it does get walled by things like the right on but we do big damage to zero aura with an overheat if we get up webs gengar with an overheat if we get up webs thunderbolt actually does more than dark post so i didn't need to run dark post on it if you run savali water we can hit it with the volt switch thunderbolt um and then slur puff we can hit with the overheat obviously so really expecting rotom heat to be that good utility this game aka hotbox so lastly but not least we got my boy kevin the durant rocking the white lens because that boy be missing this boy be missing so we need that white lens on there just so that he can boost that accuracy just a little bit more boost his, um so hustle knocks all the accuracy down to 75 percent if i'm not mistaken 70 or 75 percent and with the white lens we actually get it back up to 77 or 83 one of those two but anyways regardless of that we are rocking 108 hp 252 attack and 148 speed with a jolly nature so this thing has enough speed to outspeed so volley i would have had enough speed for celebi but i really don't expect it to come and even if it does come as you guys can see our moves right there iron head first impression home claws and crunch first impression knocks out celebi so we don't need to worry about that first impression also almost knocks out zero aura which is super crazy <laughs> like if we get a little bit of chip on that thing we can and knock it out with the first impression so that's awesome home claws on there just in case i get a chance to set up i can actually set up on things like the slur puff things like the ride on things like um uh celebi even if he does decide to bring it and the soul volley so um if we get webs up and we get a home claws up it's pretty much gg so hopefully we can definitely come through um but yeah guys that's gonna be the squad for this week i will catch you guys in the battle Alrighty guys, and we are back with the battle and you guys might not notice it now, but um, This video is actually gonna be post com so I've actually been having a lot of problems with my back and um, D-Ray was nice super nice enough to be super understanding with scheduling So I really do appreciate that on his end, but guys uh, when this battle took place. I wasn't really feeling well um, I couldn't really sit down comfortably enough. So, uh, you know, I didn't get to do it live unfortunately, but Hopefully next week we'll be back on track with the live comms. Um, but yeah, guys, doing much better for my back. So I'm uh, going to go ahead and post com this battle for you guys, which was a good one. So make sure to stay tuned. So as you guys can see the matchup right there on screen, he did decide to bring four of the six mons that I was expecting. I wasn't expecting him to bring the Celebi or the Sovali, but I did discuss in my team builder that if he did bring the Sovali, I was expecting a Sovali water to take on my two fire types because I could definitely see that being something that could help him out a lot um but the sun of beat completely caught me off guard i wasn't expecting it to come at all and um at team preview i was expecting him to be maybe like a bulky stealth rocker maybe but then i kind of was thinking why he's right on here then so uh that really kind of confused me at team preview but as i said in the team builder guys i'm gonna lead mega mine here i'm gonna try to get up my stealth um my sticky webs depending on what he leads or just hit something with the energy ball as you guys can see mega mine it puts in a lot a lot of work against his squad it hits the right on it hits the so if it is a so water set it hits the um 
uh, I want to say I like the fire, the Zera Aura. As you guys can see, I upgraded my trainer card right there, looking fresh AF. So um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, send out my Orbital, hoping for the best, as D Ray is going to go ahead and lead off with the Silvali. So, um, Shiny Savali looks pretty sick by the way. So we lead off uh, Shiny Orbito as well. And uh, we frisk that he's a water memory. So that was kind of expected to be honest. So we knew that he was going to bring Savali water. Um, but here I figure I might as well just launch off an energy ball. If he wants to stay in, he's going to take a hefty amount. Uh, if he's no bulk invested, I do do about, I think it was 60% if he wasn't um, any type of bulk invested. So I'm just going to go ahead and launch off an energy ball. Hoping that he'll stay in here as he actually does. So we get off the energy ball. And as you guys can see, it does about 40 35 percent and he actually has the flamethrower so i was not suspecting that at all I totally forgot about it and he hits me for big damage but here i figure i might as well just go ahead and g max up baby hit this thing as hard as i can and knock this thing out but he makes the appropriate slash right play and brings in that annoying ass mandy buzzes and as you guys are gonna see throughout this battle i had such a big problem breaking down this wall but here we go getting big on him Flexing on him, G Max Orbital out here, um, shiny Orbital as well, looking sick AF. And I'm um, gonna, gonna go ahead and launch off this Max Overgrowth. As you're gonna see, this does huge damage. Psych! It only did like eight percent, which is super sad. And um, unfortunately. I feel regret right away. I G Max way too early. Um, we do get those. Um, that grassy terrain coverage so here i figure okay well, there's nothing i could do might as well just launch off a couple flutter buys and um try to get off as much damage as i can on this thing and just try to put it in a range of where my dragon pole can knock it out with a choice bank draco which i believe draco did about 50 to 70 percent if it was fully spit death so he goes for the foul play here which has me think he doesn't have brave bird so i figure i might as well just stay in again and launch off another flutter beat uh flutter by like i said um I was kind of debating switching into my hot box here, but I uh, even did a double take like, should I do it? But at the end of the day, I ended up not. I figured I might as well just put this in range of where Dragapult can knock it out later in the game so I could just launch off free Dracos. Uh, he didn't bring the Slurp Puff, which I was expecting him to bring, but as you guys can see, that knocks him down to about 75%, and uh, my opponent's gonna go ahead and make the right play and roost here. So uh, effectively stalling me out of my whole Dynamax, which kind of honestly upset me because I was like, damn. I wasted this thing and G Max Orbital actually put in a lot of work against this team. So um, I'm gonna go small here, no more giant form. And uh, here I believe I'm gonna go ahead and make the switch out into Hotbox here. I figured he can't really touch me. I can threaten him out with like Bolt Switch or um, Discharge. No, I had Bolt Switch and Thunderbolt on this set. So um, I got a notification my battery's low. Okay, so uh, he launches off a uh, Brave Bird here as it does hit us for a good amount of damage. Uh, not really, only did about 20 points of damage. So like I was saying, here I was debating whether or not I want to go for like something like the Thunderbolt. If I want to pull the double, because the switch into ride on is super obvious. So that's actually what I end up doing here. Go ahead and pull the double out into my boy Troy. I did speed creep for a non-speed creep, uh, non-speed invested right on so we should outspeed this as he actually brings out right on so we made the right play here i'm just gonna go ahead and launch off an earthquake expecting him to predict me to want to get up my rocks or something um but um you know spoiler we don't have rocks on this set so i should launch off the earthquake this should do about if he's not uh, if he's just max hp this earthquake should do about 50 percent so i wasn't really fearing it the switching to celebi was a little obvious but i figured hey why not just go ahead and try to get off some damage on this ride on because breaking it down for things like my dragon pole is very important so we we'll do earthquake here we get off about 45 percent 40 percent off and he gets up his rocks which it's kind of annoying but we do have hot box in the back with the um heavy duty boots so here i'm just gonna go ahead and go for a heavy slam this covers the switch into his celebi if he wants to go into it as he does and uh this thing should chunk it for about 40 percent if it's not hp invested and it does actually about 30 percent so not bad damage so i take it so here i'm debating whether or not i want to go into rotom and just get off a free defog this uh horse it does actually have rindle berry so i Keep that in mind throughout the battle i could stay on on this if i wanted to but ultimately i do decide that just going into hot box and getting rid of these rocks is probably the best choice for me i don't really want to be taking that residual damage every turn and as you guys are going to see we're going to be playing a game of cat and mouse here for a good amount of time but he goes for the recover which kind of leads me to think that he's kind of a bulkier kind of recover set um so here i figure it's a free defog because he 
has to fear that overheat, right? Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and defog here and D-Ray is going to go ahead and switch out here and go right back into the safe switch, which is his right on. So um, right on is not going to take anything from this overheat. I calculated it. it was about 20%. So I know he's probably going to want to go into it, but we got to defog, get the rocks off here. And like I said, we're going to be playing this game of cat and mouse for a little bit here. I figure I'm just going to go ahead and switch right back into my... Um, Troy, I was kind of thinking about going into Mega Mine for a little bit. Like, hmm, I could kind of get in before rocks, get out my webs, but I figured I might as well save it. I don't know if he's gonna go for a Stone Edge, knock my Mega Mind out, or um, anything like that. So I should actually just made the safe switch back into my Troy. So he gets up back as rocks, which is a little bit annoying, but should be okay because we can't just defog these things away. So here, um, debating going into Kevin because he's most likely gonna go into Celebi, and I can knock that thing out with the first impression. But I don't want to take this stealth rock damage, so I'm just going to go for a safe heavy slam. It gets off damage on this, does about 30%, gets off another 30% off on the Celebi, so ended up being my safest play. Here he does go back into the Celebi, as we're going to go back into a heavy slam here. And as you guys can see, we're just playing this game Cat and Mouse. Game Cat and Mouse, we're trying to get off chip on each other. You know, he does have his rocks up right now. He is a little bit more, he is in a little bit more of an advantageous position than I am. Debating going for the heavy slam because I figure, hey, I actually get some chip off on this thing. I am Rindo Berry if he does want to go for energy ball. As he goes for psychic, and you guys are going to see this does a whole lot of damage too much damage so uh that was a little unfortunate i did let my mud still take uh, more damage than he should but he did reveal to be life orb so he's a bulkier life orb kind of set and i get off big damage with this heavy slam here i know he's definitely going to want to go for the recover since he does outspeed me he doesn't want to get uh falling down to that heavy slam so i'm just going to take this opportunity to go into my hot box here defog these rocks away and get rid of them he's annoying as rocks which i don't want to take chip on mons for so like I said, keep playing this game. Good. Debating clicking the overheat. I'm really debating it because I feel like he wants to stay in this turn. Debating it, thinking about it like, ah, uh, should I? My finger was like this over it. Uh, it's twitching, just twitching, just twitching. As honestly, at the end of the day, I just do end up clicking it. I'm not gonna lie, I do end up clicking this overheat right here. And, um,. Yeah, and I think D-Ray was thinking about it for a while too because he didn't know what he wanted to do. But he actually switches into the right on here. So right on comes in and I miss the overheat, which does suck because um, at the end of the game, uh, the chip would have been nice, but it doesn't end up mattering too much at the end of the day. So um, here I'm just going to go for the safe defog because like I said, I do want to get rid of these rocks. I feel like he's just going to go for um, Earthquake predicting my... Um, my horse to come in but he goes for stone edge and of course of course he hits it of course right of course why wouldn't he hit it against me right but he does hit it and <laughs> does knock us out i figure hey at least we got rid of rocks with the rotom so can't be too mad at it um but i do go into troy here and i'm gonna go ahead and reveal the tech here i'm gonna let him know that i am a sleep talk set right here i did debate doubling into kevin the durant but i figured just getting off this rest is pretty good he does have that zero aura in the back that i need this to switch in on it and i need to switch in on the right on every time so i need my health so i'm just gonna go ahead and rest get all my health back real quick as uh this right on is gonna reveal the tech which is avalanche which is pretty sick because avalanche if i'm not mistaken if the opponent hits you it does more damage so him actually being slower than me is better for him in this situation but anyways, um, here I'm fearing him wanting to go for the rocks really bad. I figure it's not much I can really do. Um, I could sleep talk, try to get off an earthquake, get off big damage on this, but I still won't kill. So I'm really debating getting in my Mega Mind before those rocks goes up just to try to get in my webs to try to force him to defog with that Mandibuzz. But at the end of the day, I just end up clicking sleep talk. I need to waste these sleep turns at the end of the day. And most likely he is going to switch into this Celebi here and we can't just waste one turn of sleep. So... Uh, he does switch into it. We'll go ahead and sleep talk here. I'm praying for the heavy slam, praying for it, praying for it, and we actually do get it. So we get super lucky with sleep talk, man. Super lucky with sleep talk. Um, I've been training my, my horse in the mountains, bro. He's been taking naps and I've been talking to him, and he's been, he's just been on it. He's been on it. Don't play with my horse. Anyways, we're gonna go ahead and make the safe switch into my Trapion, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, actually, my um, my Daenerys the Dragon Ball here. I figure worst you could do is psychic or um energy ball but as you guys are gonna see this thing does way too much damage i did almost 40 percent of damage and um 
This thing is super offensive. I debate going for the Fire Blast because I know he's a, um, he can switch in anything, but I figure, hey, he doesn't have rocks up. I could just U-turn. I can kill this thing if it wants to stay in, and I can get switch uh, initiative if he wants to switch out, which he ends up doing. So we do get that switch initiative here, and um, Dragon Bolt's gonna come back to me and be a little bit helpful later in the battle, but Kevin the Durant, it's time for his showtime it's time for him to show out right here i'm gonna go ahead and switch him out first impression does a huge amount i think it does 50 to 60 percent so a first impression into an iron head can definitely knock this thing out so that's just what i'm gonna go ahead and click here i'm gonna go ahead and first impression this uh and i do and i slap him in the face real quick and as you guys can see it almost picks up the ko but doesn't and d-ray makes the good play of going for roost and like i said this mandibuzz is going to be annoying for my team especially since i don't have rotom heat anymore so here i debate whether or not i want to go for home claws just to try to set up on this thing so i can break through it or if i want to switch out but ultimately i do decide going for the home claws so here we go, going for home claws. If he does foul play, we do live it with a small percentage and we could probably pick up a KO and he's actually gonna go for the U-turn here. So that's great for us. We are at plus one. We do outspeed most of his team, except the Gengar and the Zero Aura. But as you guys can tell, Zero Aura is the freest switching of his life. And I know Zero Aura does carry all the elemental punches. So it's not safe for me to stay in here. I gotta go ahead and get out of here. Um, and I'm going to go straight into my horse here, which is my designated switch into this thing. So hopefully he doesn't predict that and go for the grass knot. But he um, fortunately doesn't. And uh, he does end up clicking that fire punch. But as you guys can see, that did a lot of damage to a almost fully defensive uh, horse. So I was not comfortable with that damage. And he reveals to be life orb. So he has life orb on the Celebi and the Zero Aura. So those are things we got to keep in mind throughout the battle. Here, I'm just going to go ahead and go for sleep. Talk away my second turn of sleep that I got out here as he's going to go ahead and actually switch out here. He's going to go right back into the Celebi. And like I said, guys, at the beginning of this battle, I was not expecting Celebi to be such a nuisance for my team, but it was a really good bring on his end. Um, Go ahead and go for the sleep talk as we get earthquake so can't be mad at least we're not getting rest so like i said i was training my horse in the mountains right before this game but as you guys can see this celebi is super low so i'm going to try to take advantage and just try to keep it as low as i can uh i am Rindleberry on this set like i said earlier so i'm just going to go ahead and click the heavy slam here as he does click recover i don't want him thinking that he can just keep taking recover on me without getting any damage off on him so we do go ahead and hit the heavy slam and we do big damage we do big big damage and here i'm debating whether or not i should go for another one or i should just switch out i do need this for the zero aura like i said so i'm just gonna go ahead and switch uh, right into my drapion which is my gengar check so i have to be super careful with how i play this i know i could definitely take a psychic because i'm immune and i could de definitely take an energy ball i'm just praying he doesn't have earth power here as he goes for recover so that's okay he'll get back up to almost full but we do threaten him out here with the knockoff uh i was debating whether or not i want to go for knockoff or poison jab i figure savali is a super safest switch for him in the world it is bulky like we saw earlier so i'm just gonna click poison trap try to cheese him and go for the poison you know um since we aren't running toxic spikes this week surprisingly but poison jab goes ahead and gives off and as you guys can see it only does about 20 percent so um i want to go ahead and switch out here um really debating what i can switch in here and ultimately i do just end up going back into my mega mine here which is going to be my orb beetle so on uh, this turn i can't remember i think he goes for party shot yes so thankfully for me orb beetle sticks around throughout the game and um he does party shot out lowering our special attack and attack minus one which is kind of a big deal because now we can't really hit everything as effective as we wanted to he goes right back into zero aura as i'm gonna go right back into the horse as you guys can see we're just doing a whole lot of switches this game um so rocks would have been really good for him to have up or even me because we're just keep switching around into each other's mons here so like i said i'm gonna go back to troy my designated switch out uh switch into this as he goes for knockoff and he's actually gonna knock off my rando berry so this is a little scary because if he does have the grass knot he can go ahead and knock me out but i don't really think he has it i was saying he would have stayed in the last turn that he had it so i'm just gonna go for rest try to get this thing back up this must is proving to be a huge annoyance for his team so um, really paying off at the end of the day so I'll go ahead and rest get some sleep off here as he's gonna go ahead and switch right into his ride on and this is perfect for us we're gonna get the rest off and we're gonna be able to chill a little bit get a couple sleep talk turns off uh, get some damage off on this ride on because ride on and mandibus and celebi are the thickest walls against my team for some reason I don't know why I can't destroy him but like I said earlier throughout the uh, play I 
knew he was gonna give rocks so here i'm gonna go try to go into my mega mine here right before the rocks go up and try to get up my sticky webs on my own i'm gonna try to force him to defog these rocks away and defog the webs that i'm gonna put on his side of the field with his mandibus so hopefully he does do that so here we go for sticky web which is pretty safe for my team and it's gonna put a lot of work because once sticky webs go up as you guys can see drapeon puts in a lot of work against his team we have earthquake for the zero aura we have knockoff for the uh, Gengar we have poison jab for everything else so I uh, get up the webs I figure he might want to stay in here defog so I'll get some damage off with this bug buzz I don't really mind this um, my bug going down at all it's done what it's done it got up webs it put in a lot of work against this bandit buzz it chipped it down a lot so it did what it had to do I don't mind sacking this off at all as he actually goes for new turn for some reason I'm not sure why he didn't go for brave bird or defog but he actually goes into the Gengar here and uh, Gengar is gonna be in webs and if you guys watch my team builder I actually sped crap where I would outspeed this Gengar with webs up so I'm going to go ahead and launch off a psychic we can get off a big damage if he doesn't G max if he does G max we get off about 60% because we are especially um, invested we're modest 252 so do big damage and this is actually the first time i see g, g max gengar's um animation and it's sick as hell um but uh yeah gengar comes off the floor here the trick house as uh we do outspeed so we're gonna get off this psychic here and we do huge damage we do like 60 percent as he's gonna go ahead and max ooze here and knock out our mega mind so i believe this is the first ko of the game or is it the second? It's the second. So we're currently trailing 0-2 right now because our hotbox is gone and our Mega Mine is gone. But like I said, after this went down and we got up webs, Drapion is looking like a problem for his team. So here I'm just gonna go ahead and go for a safe knockoff because I know he's probably gonna want to stay in. He has no purpose of saving this thing after webs went up. He didn't really have much value to it so right here drapion picking up a kill knocking this gengar off and the score is going to be five to four guys he is in the lead right now five to four so uh next he's going to go into uh for owen i know this thing has flamethrower most likely has surf most likely has air slash or something and party shot right so i am av i can take any hit he wants to go for here i'm just gonna go for the poison jab try to cheese him with the poison if we can get it if we can't doesn't really matter we two hit ko many ways and we for sure outspeed this because this is the same speed as our, our beetle so um we're gonna go ahead and poison jab here and we do big damage and we do cheese him with the poison which is awesome but uh at the end not actually mattering because it doesn't kill him anyways but we do eat that flamethrower pretty easily no burn thankfully and um he gets hurt by poison here, we're just gonna go ahead and knock off just in case he wants to switch out and try to save this thing for any reason maybe a sack or anything uh but uh d-ray takes his time thinking here i'm pretty sure he kind of was thinking about saving it for a sack but at the end of the day i don't really think it would have benefited him too much so we do knock off here we do knock out his savali so the scores four four guys four four at the moment and um i want you guys to pay attention to one very key important part that i'm going to point out right now but um here he's taking his time thinking about what he wants to switch into as he does just go ahead and go right into his right on we do have earthquake for this thing but to be honest why not just switch in troy right he's completely f safe switch into it so i want you guys to keep a t uh, an eye on your time he has about a minute and 12 seconds left and i think i have a minute and 34 seconds left so this game is actually taking a long time we're both taking time calking thinking about what we want to do he goes for earthquake <laughs> still does a lot i don't know why even though mudsdale is fully defensive but we get the stamina boost and here um we're pretty safe to just go ahead and uh launch off uh a sleep talk i believe because i think this is our first or second turn to sleep if i'm not mistaken so uh here i go ahead and um he gets caught in the webs like i said and uh we do burn a turn of sleep so here we go we're gonna go ahead and sleep talk praying for that heavy slam praying for the heavy slam and we get the earthquake which isn't bad like i said as long as we're not getting rest we're not losing out of this trade we do get some chip off on this aria i know that my drapeon is assault vested it was here for gengar it's the only reason it was here it's a free sw uh, switch into this thing every single time hopefully it doesn't have earth power that's all i'm hoping this whole battle go ahead and switch in the scorpio here as he actually goes for the energy ball excuse me guys um it doesn't really do much though as you guys can see and like i said this drapeon is just queued in to put in the max amount of work here i'm going to go ahead and debate whether i want to go for poison jab or the knockoff i look at his team i cut that part out you guys can't see it but look at his team i figure poison jab is probably the best at the end of the day i don't want to get uh i don't really care about knocking off items i want to try to get that poison i know he wants to go into mandibus too so uh go ahead and knock this thing off i do go for knockout not poison jab sorry and we knock off its heavy duty boots which is pretty good so this 
has me digging here is where he's going to defog. This is definitely where he's going to want to defog. I want to get in my cabin. I want to try to knock this thing out at the percentage that he's at with the first impression so that Dragon Pole can just click buttons, right? So go ahead and switch in my cabin here. We'll take that little bit of rocks damage and he's actually going to go for the roost instead of the defog. So um, kind of the kind of confused like these revs are messing him up i'm not sure why he doesn't want to go for the for the defog but as you guys can see my time he has 48 seconds i have a minute and 26 seconds left on my time um here i'm really thinking about what i want to do i don't know if i want to go for first impression or iron head two iron heads will knock this thing out we do have a 30 percent chance to flinch so i'm just trying to think about how i can break through this um mandibus here I go for the Iron Head, praying for the flinch. It is a two-hit KO, but we don't get the flinch, and he goes for Iron Head, which is perfectly fine. In hindsight, I should have gone for the Home Claws because at this point we did have webs up, and this thing would have put in the max amount of work. But it's all good. We go for Iron Head again here, as he's gonna go ahead and bring in his Zara Aura, and we're gonna go ahead and hit that thing with an Iron Head. And you guys can see this still does big damage. White Lens coming in through. We're not missing any moves this week, baby. Any moves, Sleep Top moves, hitting. The hustle moves hitting we hit all our moves this week um but anyways guys i just switch into my troy here because it is a completely safe switch and we do see that it does big damage but we do get a stamina boost and i believe if i'm not mistaken this is my second turn of sleep so i will wake up the next turn so here he goes back for the fire punch which uh we we knew right we knew he was gonna do and here um he does take that life orb damage uh he has about six seconds left of, of um my time left on his his thing so i'm um, just gonna click sleep talk here i guess this is our last turn of sleep actually as um he's gonna go ahead and switch out here and he's gonna go ahead and bring in his right on so right on comes in here and it's gonna have to be at the mercy of whatever my sleep talk chooses because you know we're not getting rest out here we're not getting rest we get lucky with our sleep talk turns out here not lucky sorry skill we, we took we took troy to the mountains and we trained this boy so we heavy slam him we know that the next turn we would have outsped him, so we would have knocked him out with Earthquake. And um, the battle's actually over at this point because D-Ray ran out of your time, so we do win the battle. I don't really like Theory Mon, so I don't really like talking about what could have happened, what would have happened. Unfortunately, Gen 8 timer is trash, so um, I do get the win. Unfortunately, not the best win because this was actually a great game, and the way it was paneling down... Um, it could have been anyone's game. He could have possibly made a play, came back, and I could have continued playing well and possibly won. So there's no saying what could have happened or what would have happened. But we do take the win, and we will take it because, you know, we have been losing. <laughs> so uh, we do finish this battle, actually, too. Uh, we do win this battle. Oh, oh, no. We don't get anything. Um, but we do take the dub. So, guys, our record after this is going to be 2-3. and three, So, we are slowly climbing our way back up. And if you guys did enjoy this battle, make sure to leave a like down below. If you guys are new watching my channel, make sure to subscribe, guys. We are trying to go on this win streak. We are 2-0 and oh currently on the win streak. But 0-3 oh still, you know. So, 2-3, and three, you know, we're even in out, but it's all good. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching our video. Sorry about the lack of videos, too. And sorry that this battle is going up so late. It's just my back's been out of whack for like a couple of weeks now so hopefully it's going good hopefully next week's battle is going good hopefully you guys are all good and i'll catch you guys on the next video peace